This is awesome, okay. Bro, what are you doing? Enjoying a coffee with Senor Cafe. Mm -hmm. I found this little coffee snake. Stealing my coffee, so I figured I'd let him have some. Mm. How does he like his coffee? Negro. Okay. Alright, so, um... It's supposed to rain all day, so we're gonna switch gears, uh, leave the forest, and we're gonna go over to the dry coast and see what we can find over there. Alright, Tay, uh, ready to switch it up and head over to the dry coast today? Yeah. Okay. Pack your bags. And your bikini. Is that creepy enough for over to the coast. Uh, it's beautiful out. We got away from the rain. The sun came out. It's nice and warm. And uh, we're headed out to go get some lunch before we go out and do some night shining and some road cruising and some afternoon hiking at some places that we should hopefully see some stuff. And it took 36 hours. We finally got my beloved Rainbow scared me. <laughs> we just bought Taylor's favorite fruit, Rambutans. They're really cheap here compared to the U.S. Uh, so we come here, we buy tons of them. This would cost $80 <laughs> in America. <laughs> now you're... This cost $25 here. This is our sustenance. This beef jerky and nuts. Bite it for me. Oh. <laughs> Tay! Gross! the hell? No, we don't have any water. Let's pee. How did you do that? <laughs> That's my pillow. How did you pee and then drop my pillow in the pee? This is not going on the internet. Please. No. What the f***? Ah. Ah. I think it's a cool road though. It's a great place for rattlesnakes. Hey, why is there three meals and only two of us? Huh?
Look what's crossing the road. I'm so excited. Oh my god, get the get the camera. Holy shit! Look at this! A big, beautiful rattlesnake. Oh Tay! Look at this freaking thing. The dry coast delivered. Holy crap! We did it. The first snake. Oh, oh, Tay, get the snake hook. I'm so excited. Tay, bring it in. We just. We just road cruised this beautiful Central American rattlesnake. This is my favorite snake in the region. This might be my, fa my second favorite snake in the entirety of Costa Rica. Wow, we just started. So because we just started, we're actually gonna bag her up real quick so we can show you guys later and I wanna get some photos of her. And we're gonna keep cruising because we literally just got here and just started. This is so awesome. Um, here, I'm gonna be really gentle with her. Tay, do you wanna help me get her bagged up? We get yeah, Tay, they're just working in that drain. All right, show us what we found, Tay. Show us what we found. I'm cutting it. You're be gentle. Be careful. Looks like a garter snake from here. Bring them this way. Cool. Uh, we just found a little hognose viper right by these guys' work truck. Let me grab my headlamp so I can... There's some guys working in the drainage ditch. So Taylor is going to move this cute little guy across the road and away from the workers. Some good snakes are crawling tonight. Yeah. Here, let me snap a photo. So the guys are working down there. The snake was right here. There's the car. We're just going to move it away from them. These guys are really cute. Oh, perfect. No, oh, no, he looks good. I said, hola. All right, do you want to move this little viper out of the way? Here he goes. There you go, little buddy. Cool. The only other venomous snake I think we can see here would be a coral snake. Good job, Tay. You saved. <laughs> I know. Wow, what a night this is. And we're just getting started. All right, so we just found another hognose viper, and look how big this one is. This is a huge hognose viper. He's probably like, what, three times the size of the last one? <laughs> so cool, I love these guys. And we'll, uh, we'll move him out of the road so he doesn't get squished, but there's really, and these guys are big uh, compared to the other hognose vipers. I absolutely love hognose vipers. Taylor and I actually keep a few of these guys at home. Uh, they love to live here in the rocky habitats of the dry forest. And uh, they can be a little snippy sometimes, but with any snake, venomous or not, if you stay calm, you don't move a lot, and you let the snake just do their thing, you're always going to be okay. As you can see, we're just letting them crawl around, hang out. We haven't posed any sort of a threat, so we haven't brought out any type of defensive behavior in this snake. He hasn't once struck at us. He did try and get away. Now he's kind of, I don't know what he's doing. What is he doing? He's climbing a tree. He's climbing the tree. He's not coming after my hand. If I held still, he'd probably crawl right over. Right now he's kind of like, hey, what's going on? Notice how his tail wraps around. This is a big hognose viper. This is really cool. See he crawled away? Just because a snake's venomous doesn't mean it wants to bite you. That's a pretty common misconception. Because people think just because it has venom, it wants to bite you as he crawls down.
Uh, he's pretty aware I'm here and has kind of said, oh, I'm not going to go that way. I love these things. They're so cool. And by the way, I'm far out of strike distance because remember, a snake can't lunge its body. It has to recoil, then strike. Unless you're a fertile ant. Except for a fertile ant. They are gas powered or something. I don't know what's up with them. This is awesome, Ty. All right, so we just moved this beautiful snake out of the road. And this is uh, the Central American rattlesnake we were just showing you a second ago. The rattlesnakes are one of my absolute favorite animals. And you can hear her rattling. She's rattling uh, because she's afraid we're gonna harm her. So rattlesnakes don't actually have ears. The only reason they rattle is to let animals with ears, like humans and other potential predators, hey, I'm here. Don't step on me, leave me alone. In this case, we're not trying to harm her, we're just moving her out of the road, but she still is worried that we're gonna harm her because a lot of times, people actually harm snakes. And there are quite a bit, of, there's a little bit of traffic up and down this road, and uh, we just wanna make sure that she didn't get run over or chopped up with a machete, because that would be very, very sad. Uh, the few Central American rattlesnakes that we've found have just been incredibly docile despite rattling. They've never once, look at their gun defensive, they've never once actually struck. When the snake recoils like that, it's actually recoiling to protect its body. The only part of that snake that could protect itself is the, is the head. So when you've got about four feet, you have to recoil it in and then maintain a defensive position. Isn't she awesome? Mm -hmm. These guys also get called neck break snakes because the neurotoxic properties of that venom apparently make people's heads roll around. So it's not a snake you want to get bitten by. But Taylor and I have both been handling venomous snakes for quite some time. And we're pretty comfortable around them. And not really worried about getting bit. Oh, you can change it and great. Just because a snake's venomous doesn't mean it wants to bite you. No. It's the last line of defense got the rattle, so he's got the camouflage, he's got the rattle, and then last but not least is the venom in case he really has to defend himself. God, rattlesnakes are my favorite. I love venomous snakes, but rattlesnakes are just, so I guess it's been my childhood looking for rattlesnakes. They're my big game. Yeah, like it's your been childhood looking for. Love. love. Oh, so we both found what we came here for. Yeah. <laughs> When little sissy boys are afraid of snakes. Behind the scenes, I've taken a picture of Taylor. They're handling a huge Central American rattlesnake. Rambutons! And so, I'm putting on mascara because Rhett told me how ugly I look in photos without it a second ago.